first trip to Green Bay for 2013. It's January 27th. I think it's the 27th, Sunday. And we're on Green Bay. The ice is pretty rough where we're at. Um, got my camera down. There's not enough light for it to go into color yet. I have a pretty decent uh, black and white picture going. Really, in, we're kind of in shallow right now. Fishing with Team Shy Poke. My buddy Troy. How you doing, Troy? Good. Thanks for taking. Yep. Thanks for taking me out. Troy, Troy got the first white fish. A little deliciousness in a little fish. Yep. That, with, I have, these, with these nice little grabbers. Yep. <laughs> yep. The jaws of death. Cool. Jaws of death, man. Yeah. He on a little gold. He was on a little gold like a tungsten bead. Cool. So, oh, like a bluegill jig? Yep. Maybe. But it's, it's bigger. It's a little bigger. So. I might have to pull out some bluegill stuff yeah. because, man, these guys are being real tight-lipped. Okay, it took a while, but I finally got one. Got it on the slider hook, even though it tangled into the bottom hook now, but anyway, finally, number one of the day. It took me over an hour to catch this guy. Okay, I went probably two hours without catching any, and now I got two in two minutes. This one hit the bottom one. He grabbed at the top. I didn't have my underwater camera on at the time, so I didn't get a video of him biting, but cool. Number two. Sweet. The grabbers are working good that Troy made for me. Okay, I've been uh, trying several different rigs, but now that I actually started catching a couple, this is what I'm using, just a gold Swedish pimple with a real wax worm and a couple gulp, gulp uh, maggots. And my, my, my floater rig, uh, and my slider rig is just a little gold hook. And that's so far, that's what I caught a couple on, and hopefully, I can catch a couple more. Okay, got one coming in. Boy, these guys, this guy's fighting pretty good. It's a pretty good size one, I think. Oh, yeah, here he comes up the hole. 
Oh yeah, nice big one. Look at that guy. He just came in and before I could even hit the break. Oh shit, come here, buddy. Oh shit, you f <laughs> You son of Ah. I missed a nice one there. Hopefully, uh, oh, there's, there's one on the camera coming in. In the background. Hopefully I can catch another one. This time, this time I'm gonna grab it and not sit and narrate while the fish is bouncing around in my in the ice hole. Okay, that went on. Hopefully I can get it. Yep, I'll take my time and try to grab them with the tongs right away. I'm not going to mess around. Although I, I do have my camera going <laughs> while I'm trying to reel. But, ooh, nice one too. Nice big one. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to try to grab them. Got them. Boy, those things work nice. Just grabbed him. Good. He's hooked right in the mouth with the little floater. All right. See if I can get him before he gets up. Got him. <laughs> Those grabbers really work good, man. Sweet. This guy's got to be big. He was fighting so damn hard. Unless he got my camera cord or something. No. Oh. See, I got him in the side of the head, that's why. Okay. We have, uh, I'm sitting on seven. Troy's on, uh, I think, six. So, a couple more. We'll have our limit. Snow's it's just starting, the weather's starting to change. So, hopefully, we can pound them out and get, uh, get moving. Got a long drive to go home. Okay. Okay. The weather kind of got a little crappy on us so I'm gonna leave that eight fish pretty happy first trip out on Green Bay uh, in 2013 uh, caught some nice fish so I'm happy now it's time to, to enjoy the rewards of going through all the hassle to catch these um, I cleaned them and also I'd like to say I bled them out on the ice so they're very simple to clean then there's no blood and the fillets are just beautiful um, what I like to do is just microwave them it's super simple you just take uh, some salted butter uh, put little pads of butter um, around on the fillets organize the fillets where the thickest parts of the meat are outside uh, or to the outside of the of the plate set up to be put in a microwave have butter uh, and that's it I do not salt or pepper these uh, fillets at all um, the butter does have a little salt in it and everything is ready to roll um, half power though you got to be careful your microwaves uh, can make them explode at full power so you got to throttle back make sure to add the cover in it let them sit for a minute and then I cooked them another minute on half power in a 1250 watt microwave uh, they look fully done and if the, the center pieces flake apart they're, they're done they're probably these are probably even overdone um, a little salt and uh, lorry salt and uh, and pepper and they should be excellent 
That's how I like them, especially right away. You can 